I'm here with Geoffrey Breeze, cane expert, and Geoffrey's going to tell us about some of his favourite canes. Geoffrey, take it away. Well, hello, Emma. Um, well, the thing about canes is that they're fun. The first thing that good about canes also is that they're not walking sticks. They're not about walking. They're nothing to do with walking whatsoever because you wear a, you wear a cane and you wear a walking stick. This is a particularly fun one. Nice little monkey in his top hat. Press the button. Yeah, that always makes the girl smile. Yeah, there's that one. And this one is a cutie. So beautiful snake wood shaft with a sort of a rusticated effect, and it's a memento mori cane. So on one side, we see a beautiful lady's face, and when we turn it round, we see a skull. In Is that supposed to mean something? It means seize the day, madam, because you're beautiful now, but it doesn't <laughs> last. <laughs> so traditionally, the cane, can I say cane rather than walking no. stick, was uh, for the gentry. And was it all to do with the how comfortable it was on the hand as you no, were walking? It's nothing to do with comfort and it's nothing to do with use. It's Enlighten me, Geoffrey. It's a a dress accessory. It's a male accessory, and it's about looking good. It's about so the more ornate, the more money you have, or traditionally yeah, it used yeah. to be. Yeah, they're about sex, money, and violence. They're about looking good, making a statement. So, where does the violence bit come in? Well, well, you may ask. So <laughs> we've got a nice little Hawthorne crook handle cane here, and with one quick pull, there you go. Oh, girl. Yeah, there you go. Lovely Toledo blade. So uh, is that a woman's one or a man's one? Is that a uh, stupid question? It's mainly a male. It's mainly toys for the boys here. Yeah. With the ladies, we take a stick and we cover it in fabric, and that's called an umbrella. <laughs> so that, that, that's how the girls did it. We're not allowed to have canes then, no? Well, it's not a matter of not allowed. I think you chose to have a cane and cover it with fabric. Um, now this is, uh, and protect our hair at the yeah, same time. One for the girls. Now, this is one that a girl might have given right. her boyfriend. So, a nice piece of uh, a silver with rose gold studs, and we open it up, and what's inside? A picture of your oh, loved one. I know. And so you could sit there in the evening when you're away from home and you go, oh, my little snooky pookums, and think of your girl. I think this is the sort of cane that a girl would give to a young man, maybe if he was going away. On a business trip. Not as portable as a locket, though. No, but it's a locket on a stick, isn't it? A locket on a stick. Show me your favourite one, oh, Geoffrey. I'll show you this one. So this is what we might call a system cane. And system canes are canes that have a hidden function. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry to have to tell you, Emma... Not a sword. ...that most of the hidden functions are associated with the masculine vices. Drinking, smoking... Gambling, horses, dogs, unsuitable women. You get the picture. Now, this is a smoking cane. So this one's made by Brig, one of the main retailers of fine canes. And we open it up there, little compartment there. And that's for keeping your swan vesters, your matches would go in there. And you'd strike it just there. But, of course, what good is a match if you haven't got a cigarette? So you'd unscrew the top and then... Pass round the cigarettes, because the cigarettes are loaded all the way down into the shaft. But so, so they're nice canes, they're fun canes, but then if we want to go up market a little, we can get really glitzy. Now, what does this mean I mean, so you could go and visit the Queen wearing a cane like that, couldn't you? Yep, for the royal wedding. Your enamel and a little silver gilt, or a big silver gilt puma with ruby eyes. Sitting on top of it. So that one makes a statement. And how did you get into the cane business then, Geoffrey? Well, I've always been in antiques, and I suppose my moment of conversion came was when I first saw that walking sticks were nothing whatsoever to do with walking, that they were all about posing and making a statement, and that they were a fashion accessory. Once I saw that, it weren't about being old, about being young. And sexy. And whereabouts are you based, Geoffrey? I'm based in Bath and I mainly work from the London Antique Fairs and from my website. 
And your clientele? Mainly gentlemen? Or? It's mainly gentlemen. It's mainly collectors, but a few people still do buy them to wear them. But it's interesting that the people that seem to collect canes are very fascinating people. We have like ambassadors and captains of industry and artists and novelists. It's a peculiar type of people that are interested in canes. It's been fascinating. Thank you, Geoffrey. Thank you. So, 